The decision to effect the partition of Bengal Bengali, Bangabanga was announced on 19 July 1905 by the Viceroy of India, Lord Curzon. The partition took place on 16 October 1905 and separated the largely Muslim eastern areas from the largely Hindu western areas. The Hindus of West Bengal who dominated Bengal's business and rural life complained that the division would make them a minority in a province that would incorporate the province of Bihar and Orissa. Hindus were outraged at what they recognized as a divide and rule policy, where the colonizers turned the native population against itself in order to rule, even though Curzon stressed it would produce administrative efficiency. The partition animated the Muslims to form their own national organization on communal lines. In order to appease Bengali sentiment, Bengal was reunited by Lord Hardinge in 1911, in response to the Swadeshi movement riots in protest against the policy and the growing belief among Hindus that East Bengal would have its own courts and policies. Background the provincial state of Bengal had an area of 490,000 square kilometers, 189,000 square miles, and a population of nearly 78.5 million. It comprised West Bengal with a Hindu majority and East Bengal and Assam with a Muslim majority. It included the Hindi-speaking regions of Bihar, the Odia-speaking regions of Odisha as well as the Assamese-speaking region of Assam, making it a huge administrative entity. Moreover, the capital, Calcutta, was also the capital of the entire British India. With the growing efforts of the Indian freedom fighters to secure the independence of India, Lord Curzon decided to address both these problems by partitioning Bengal into two entities, which would result in a Muslim majority in the eastern part, and a Hindu majority in the western part. This he hoped would reduce the administrative pressures. Partition. See also, Bengal Presidency Partition of Bengal, 1905. The government announced the idea for partition in January 1904. The idea was opposed by Henry John Stedman Cotton, Chief Commissioner of Assam 1896-1902. The partition was enacted on 16 October 1905, by Viceroy Curzon, and Kayan Adin Ahmet, the Chief Secretary of Bengal. The Lower Bengal was divided into two new provinces. Bengal province, composed of the Hindu majority, largely Bengali-speaking divisions of Patna, Bagalpur, Bardwan and Presidency administered from Calcutta, and the Eastern Muslim majority divisions of Chittagong, Rajshahi and Dhaka, as well as the states of Komila, Silhet and Tripura united within the Eastern Bengal and Assam province with Dhaka as the capital. There were further transfers of administrative districts in the name of linguistic or ethnic unification, with the Hindi-speaking districts of Chota Nagpur becoming part of the central provinces, while the Bengali-speaking areas of Oriya and Sambalpur were included in the new province of Bengal. Partition was promoted for administrative reasons since Bengal was geographically as large as France and had a significantly larger population. Curzon stated the eastern region was neglected and under-governed. By splitting the province, an improved administration could be established in the east, where subsequently, the population would benefit from new schools and employment opportunities. The partition was generally supported by the Muslims of East Bengal by both their poor economic conditions in East Bengal and the perceived dominance of the Hindu businessmen and landlords in West Bengal over the governance of Bengal. Most of the factories and mills in Bengal were established in and around Calcutta, while many sources of raw materials for these factories were in East Bengal. Furthermore, most of the educational institutions of the province were in Calcutta, including the Lone University in Bengal. The scars resulting from the partition of Bengal have never completely healed and can still be seen today. Given below is the proclamation of partition. The Governor-General is pleased to constitute the territories at present under the administration of the Chief Commissioner of Assam to be for the purposes of the Indian Councils Act 1861, a province to which the provisions of that act touching the making of laws and regulations for the peace and good order of the presidencies of Fort St. George and Bombay shall be applicable and to direct that the said province shall be called and known as the province of Eastern Bengal and Assam. 
The Governor General in Council is pleased to specify the 16th day of October, 1905 as the period at which the said provisions shall take effect and 15th as the number of councillors whom the Lieutenant Governor may nominate for his assistance in making laws and regulations. The Governor General in Council is further pleased to declare and appoint that upon the constitution of the said province of Eastern Bengal and Assam, the districts of Dhaka, Maimansingh, Faridpur, Bakargunj, Tipura, Nokali, Chittagong, the Chittagong Hill Tracts, Rajashahi, Dinajpur, Jalpaiguri, Rangpur, Bogra, Pabna, and Malda, which now form part of the Bengal division of the Presidency of Fort William, shall cease to be subject to or included within the limits of that division, and shall thenceforth be subject to and included with within the limits of the lieutenant governorship of the province of Eastern Bengal and Assam. The reason behind the partition that was officially announced was that the Bengal province was too large to be administered by a single governor and so it would be partitioned on administrative purpose. The real reason behind the partition was political and not administrative. East Bengal was dominated by the Muslims and West Bengal by the Hindus. Partition was yet another part of the divide and rule policy. The following excerpts from Curzon's letter of 2 February 1905 to St. John Broderick, Secretary of State for India, give an idea of his aims in partitioning Bengal. Calcutta is the centre from which the Congress party is manipulated throughout the whole of Bengal, and indeed the whole of India. Its best wire pullers and its most frothy orators all reside here. The perfection of their machinery, and the tyranny which it enables them to exercise are truly remarkable. They dominate public opinion in Calcutta, they affect the high court, they frighten the local government, and they are sometimes not without serious influence on the government of India. The whole of their activity is directed to creating an agency so powerful that they may one day be able to force a weak government to give them what they desire. Any measure in consequence that would divide the Bengali-speaking population, that would permit independent centres of activity and influence to grow up, that would dethrone Calcutta from its place as the centre of successful intrigue, or that would weaken the influence of the lawyer class, who have the entire organisation in their hands, is intensely and hotly resented by them. The outcry will be loud and very fierce, but as a native gentleman said to me, my countrymen always howl until a thing is settled, then they accept it. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Political crisis. Topic: <inaudible> Partition sparked an extremely major political crisis along religious lines. Hindu resistance exploded as the Indian National Congress began the Swadeshi movement, which included boycotting British goods and institutions, organising meetings and processions, and applying diplomatic pressure. Hitherto untouched sections of Indian society participated in these movements, providing base for later movements. Richness of the movement extended to culture, science and literature. Masses were educated for a bolder form of politics and colonial hegemony was undermined. The Muslims in East Bengal hoped that a separate region would give them more control over education and employment, hence, they opposed those movements. Rabindranath Tagore wrote Banglar Mahdi Banglar Joel as a rallying cry for proponents of annulment of partition. Opposition to the partition was supported by Henry John Stedman Cotton who had been Chief Commissioner of Assam, but Curzon was not to be moved. Later, Cotton, now Liberal MP for Nottingham East coordinated the successful campaign to oust the first Lieutenant Governor of East Bengal, Sir Bamfylde Fuller. Reunification Due to these political protests, the two parts of Bengal were reunited on 12 December 1911. A new partition which divided the province on linguistic, rather than religious grounds followed, with the Hindi, Oriya and Assamese areas separated to form separate administrative units, Bihar and Orissa province was created to the west, and Assam province to the east. The administrative capital of British India was moved from Calcutta to New Delhi as well. <laughs> Aftermath in 1909, separate elections were established for Muslims and Hindus. Before this, many members of both communities had advocated national solidarity of all Bengalis. With separate electorates, distinctive political communities developed, with their own political agendas. 
Muslims, too, dominated the legislature, due to their overall numerical strength of roughly 22 to 28 million. Nationally, Hindus and Muslims began to demand the creation of two independent states, one to be formed in majority Hindu and one in majority Muslim areas. In 1947, Bengal was partitioned for the second time, solely on religious grounds, as part of the partition of India following the formation of the nations India and Pakistan. In 1947, East Bengal became East Pakistan, and in 1971 became the independent state of Bangladesh after a successful war of independence with West Pakistan. Topic. Significance Topic. The partition left a significant impact on the people of Bengal as well as the political scene of the Indian subcontinent. This event also created a sense of political awareness among the Muslims of East Bengal. To mollify the people of East Bengal, Lord Curzon declared that a university as a center of excellence would be established in Dhaka which would later be named as University of Dhaka and formed a committee in this regard consisting Khwaja Salamullah, A.K. Fazlul Huq and others. The decision was severely criticized by some Hindu leaders in West Bengal. The most significant impact of this event was greater communal dissonance between the Hindus and Muslims of Bengal. See also West Bengal Partition of Bengal 1947. Notes Topic. Further reading Topic. Edwards, Michael. High Noon of Empire, India under Curzon McLean, John R. The Decision to Partition Bengal in 1905. Indian Economic and Social History Review, July 1965, 2 No. 3, pp. 221-237. Topic. External resources Topic. Ahmed, Sufia 2012. Partition of Bengal, 1905. In Islam, Sirajul, Jamal, Ahmed A. Banglapedia, National Encyclopedia of Bangladesh 2nd ed. Asiatic Society of Bangladesh. <laughs>